Superpower 3 has just been released. This is an awesome geopolitical simulator where you can take control of any of 194 playable real world nations. Now this is an awesome game because it's the sequel to Superpower 2. Again, I did play quite a bit. I think that came out 17 years ago. And today we're going to be playing as North Korea because there's several different scenarios and this is one of them. The USA and North Korea. In the past years, relations worldwide with North Korea have been tense. The United States has been the most proactive country regarding building diplomatic relations with the isolated Asian country. With North Korea seeming to be a nuclear threat, will the players be able to resolve their conflict peacefully and preserve stability in Asia, or will the war break? So we've got lots of success conditions and failure conditions. To the, so if, we, if China declares war, I guess on us, we fail. Um, now, first of all, I want to say none of what I'm about to do is my own political beliefs, or, you know, it shouldn't be taken on my own beliefs. Let's just have some fun with this geopolitical simulator. And we're going to play as North Korea, of course. So, you can create a character. You basically play as a leader, and there's lots of information here about that. So we're going to create... Wow! That is <laughs> that is quite the look. Okay, let's go for... Um, no, let's go for that. So we are Pung Pyo Suyun. We're Korean ethnic religion. Um, okay, Everything, let's do physiology. So you can adjust all of this stuff, kind of like The Sims or something. Um, we're going to leave that there. Skin, let's make our skin a little bit lighter. Can we sort of get rid of the... Why are the lips like that? Am I wearing lipstick? What the heck? I think I'm wearing lipstick. Okay, that's fine. Eyes, I actually kind of look the way, like the way he looks. Let's leave it at that. Okie dokie. So let's play. If you start your game now... Or, okay, yes. We want to do that. Okay, so this might match my first time playing. Um, I'm going to see what it's like. I do play games like um, Geopolitical Simulator. I think it's called Power and Revolution. Um, I, I think I've bought the last four or five versions of that game. So yeah, I really do love it. But um, the, the world is crying out for a Geopolitical Simulator. And this could be the one. Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Scenario objectives. So, sign an alliance treaty with China. Increase cereal production and meat production, electricity production and mineral production, deploy new ballistic submarines and maintain a polit political approval of 80%. Well, we are a dictatorship, so we have got 55% approval. That's not very good. Anyway, here is the world. Um, okay, so there's, I thought I said Hamburg, but no, it's Ham Hung. Ham Hung Airport. So these are our units here, our ground units, and it's like helicopters as well. Have we got any like bases, any sort of... Um, no, I think they just sat there. So what is this? This is a... This is a... What? Does it say? Oh, well, it's a submarine, clearly, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so let's have a look at our economy. We have a balance of minus 18 billion, which isn't good. So what I want to do is adjust the budget. So propaganda is quite high. Military research, why is that so low? Whoa. That's just going to increase the... Okay, let's put it at zero. Civilian research. Let's decrease that a bit. And government. This, okay, improve corruption. Environment. Let's get rid of environment. And infrastructure. Well, let's leave it a bit like that. Okay, so adjust the taxes. We're just going to put the taxes up a bit. 35. Okay. And industrial military. Country consumption 2 billion. So we can, like, ban and allow all these different... Oh, so we consume three billion worth of drugs. So if we if we legalize this, and then we adjust the taxes like massively on it, like sort of put it, I don't know, 20, 20%? Let's see what happens there. Let's just see what happens. So there we go. That's our first move. Apparently we've just legalized drugs. Um, right, so GDP. Let's, um, the game is running. What does that do? I don't know. So this is me. Now the United States, what can we do with them? We've got to in increase cereal production, so let's have a look and see if we can do that. Um, right, so cereal, here we go. We're going to invest a bit. We're going to do like, I don't know. To can I not... Does this not work, this thing? I don't think that seems to work at the moment, which is a bit annoying. Uh, so we're importing from Russia, China, can we import some more from China? Yeah. Propose. There you go. We're importing some more of that. Um, it would be in, it'd be nice if we could actually invest in this, but it doesn't seem like we can. One. 
12? No, I don't think you can. Um, we'll have to work out a way for this. So, budget. Government, it, what would be... Let's, let's actually put some into infrastructure. There you go. Infrastructure is what we're going to do. And a bit of military research too. Come on. About a billion. There we go. So, what was our goals? Uh, maintain a political approval of 80%. Well, it's just dropped like considerably. Uh, deploy new, new ballistic submarines. So, where are, um, like, nukes then? Is there like a army tab? Here you go. Right. So, here's one of our units, our um, actual forces. So, we have... Global rank of the military technology of your enemies is actually first, so that's America, I guess. Um, right, so how many troops do we even have? 44 million? No, that's, that's guns, isn't it? Forces, here we go. Units, land vehicles, land vehicles, market. DEFCON 5, oh dear. Um, so we can actually show nuclear reach. This is the reach of our nuclear missiles, oh. That's kind of rubbish. So we can't even use them. So let's leave that. Um, get rid of that. Okay, can we speed the game up at all? Can we speed the game up at all? I don't think we can. That's fine. So North Korea, right. Now can I try and... A quick treaty with them. Let's see if they'll even do an alliance right now. So... Um, propose that new treaty and we can give them... Oh, we don't want to do an aid request, do we? A cultural exchange? What the heck? No, China, China. Your relationship is too low. Okay, let's try again. Quick treaty. Should we do a alliance of some kind? Uh, or can we do... We can have an embassy. Open an embassy in China. Do we not already have an embassy in China? Yeah, we do. We literally do. Okay, then what about a cultural exchange with China then? Accepted. Yay! So their approval is 78%, but what's their approval of us? Um, doesn't say. Okay. More treaties. I think this is the way to do it. So, quick treaty. Uh, we don't want that. We want... Um... Oh, we've already got that. Okay. That's interesting. Right, we'll just leave that for now. We've got a cultural exchange with them. So, how's our... Our approval is... Sh no, that's the approval of China. We want the approval of North Korea. So, 45%. Um... So, gay marriage is illegal, abortion illegal, homosexuality illegal. Do you think we can improve things by legalizing this? I like the, our approval rate. So, gay... What does intermediate mean? What? I don't know what that means. Um, let's legalize all of this. But not freedom of speech and freedom of assembly. Sure. We've got two political parties that are actually technically legal. And we have a... Wow, why, why are they illegal? So why are they legal? I thought they'd be illegal. Unless they're, like, supporting us. There you go. So I've legalised that. I don't know if that's actually going to do anything. It probably isn't. Um, look at all these statistics. So all of, this, all of these stats are based on real things. Um, these are our helicopters. Is, I need to have a look more at the nuclear... The nuclear? The uh, military tab. So technology. We've got frigate budget. We need ballistic submarine budget. There you go. Put that up a bit. There it is. There's our ballistic submarine. Do, do we have any? I don't think we haven't got one. Look, no known designs. So, let's do it. We're going to call it Ballistic Sub NK. Cost 400k, create design. We don't have the we don't have the budget or the research, I don't think. Okay, nuke budget. We actually own nukes, though. Look. They're, like, not very good. Uh, this one costs 1.8 billion? My goodness. And we don't have any bombers. We must have bought some attack helicopters, I guess, then? 
Uh, right. Fine. So we can we like we can actually drag. We don't want to go to war. We don't want to go to war. So nothing's changed with that. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed with our um. That's annoying. Right. Okay. 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 Who would be friendly to us? Maybe Vietnam. Maybe Vietnam would be friendly with us. Quick treaty. Uh, quick treaty. Let's have. Do we have an embassy? Close an embassy. No, we don't want that. We want um, human development. Open. C Let's do a cultural exchange with Vietnam then. Vietnam. Where are they? Let's look at all these countries. Yay! Brilliant. Our relationship's good. Okay. Oh, player country selected only. What? Let's click on that. And then click. Uh, I'm struggling just a bit learning this. There is no tutorial in game, by the way. Can we not see how much they like us? Selected country. No, I don't. I can't. I don't know how you work out who likes us and who doesn't. But anyway, here's the demography graph. So immigration is closed. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. I want to close close immigration. Um, why don't we open immigration? Sure, let's do that. No, no, we don't want to do that actually. That'd be really bad. Network open. That's our internet network, which is closed obviously for propaganda reasons. Um, okay. So, our approval is what? 47. It's going up. It's going up. Not bad. Have we achieved any of our goals? No. Okay, let's have a look at um, some of the sectors again. So, cereals. I have no idea. We probably don't have enough money to do this. What if I do... No, not a number, it says. Okay, um... We are importing a lot from China now, which is okay. Can we try and export? I don't think we can. Right. Because I want to see what's going on with this, let's try and invade South Korea. I want to see what happens with the military tab. This is just us having fun. Um, so here we go. Quick treaty. War. Japan declared war on us. Pause the game. Now, where are our nukes? Where are our nukes? Are they in the, um... Oh, actually, they're probably going to be here, aren't they? Move and attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do you... Put your unit on the market? No. Move to target and drop bomb. Move to target and move and attack. Let's move and attack like... I don't know who. This unit? They're going, right, okay. Then the helicopter. Move and... Attack. Move and attack these helicopters. No? See if you can do that. Yeah, oh dear. That's really bad. Are we actually moving now? Look, we've got like a battleground. On the map now. Right, go. Oh no, they're all coming. Go! Move and attack. Go to the airport. Sure. We're going now. Oh dear, what's going on? Oh no. Hang on a minute. Is that is a nuclear missile truck, isn't it? Is it? Sure. Your region is under attack. Attacking. How's a tank in the ocean? Okay, what about this one? Oh, hang on. Wasn't the nuclear missile tab here? 
new budget. Forces. Um, launch on missiles. We've got ten. It's, they're all moving. Why are they moving? Target sector. They are actually moving. Look, there's one. That is a nuclear missile right there. Attack, go. No, 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 no. Attack, yes. Attack. Attack, I don't know, like... Can you actually attack a region? I really don't know. South Korea has annexed that, but isn't that their part of their country? Look at, look at this! What's even going on there? Can, what, can we get... The nukes are like, I don't know what they're doing. Hold a position, receive half the damage. No. I, I can't get these to move, and I, one of my troops has just fallen over and died there. Oh my goodness, they're all coming. Pause. Attack everything. Is it, is it not right click? I don't know. Can I move them at all? I don't think I can move them. This isn't good. Look, Japan's coming now. And where's America? I've got no idea. Let me zoom out and see. Look, I can see some American troops in the middle of the ocean. What are they doing there? Oh, I failed. I actually failed. Oh, dear. Well, that is my noob gameplay of Super Power 3. I've got to say, I've got to get used to it. There is like a... Um, I've just clicked a button there. That's just the uh, online wiki, which has loads of um, useful info, like a guide to the game. We can have a look at some of the other stuff here. So Burma, you can basically, I think you have to establish a dictatorship in these countries on that one. Here's like independence movements. Um, this is one surrounded by Turkey or surrounding Turkey. There's World War Three, Crimea Crisis. Mali and Iran, Brazil, the new Tsar, oh my goodness, Pan-Arabist Union, Venezuela presidential crisis, Cuba is for some reason involved in that, um, Haiti, penuries, a world where penuries, a world, I don't even, I've never heard of that word before, and you need to maintain your uh, economy to go through the situation, in the aftermath, everything is hard to find, and to obtain this global support, Global supply chain post pandemic, and you must do your best for your country. So there's Britain in this one. Let's have a quick look at what Britain looks like. Okay, we've still got Pung Pyo soon for some reason. Let's go. Right, yeah, so here is the United Kingdom, and as you can see, there, oh, in every land, I just got an achievement. Um, there's, you can see like the roads and the cities here. It says London Airport, it's called. Here's all my personnel. There does seem to be a big focus on like the military matters. Um, and then like the cities are represented with these like towers. So I am Pung Pyo Suyun of the Conservative and Unionist Party. Right, sure. Um, does it show like, yeah, so look, the Labour Party has got, all, look at all the different parties it's got in the UK. They're all obviously real. Next election is May tw 31st, 2026. Wow. Um, so we can just turn off all of this stuff. Look, make everything illegal and see what happens. My approval is just dropping. Um, so can we ban all the other parties? I bet they wish they could do this in real life. There you go. So we've just we've just imposed a dictatorship like that and see what happens. What will happen? I've no idea. Can we like, I don't know, can we close the internet? Make Br British an illegal social group? Despite, okay. Closed immigration. Just just make everything illegal. Look. That's all illegal. Can we make... Drugs are illegal. I know that. Um, what's going to happen? I mean, approval rate is kind of going down pretty quick. I'd expect to be, like, overthrown by now because it seems to be going, like, a day a second or a day every two seconds. But, yeah, there you go. So you can play as any country around the world. Super Power 3 has just been released. Um, oh, look at the moon there. That's cool. And then it's the sun. Oh, wow. 
it's quite it's quite a good looking game to be fair. And here's um, the United States. Can we see who's leading the United States? Um, can we? How do you? Quick treaty war. Gabriel Price is leading America apparently. So the the names are fictional, but obviously everything else is um, real. So yeah, if you want to see some more videos on this kind of game please click the video on the screen right now if you want to see more of this game make sure to like this video and leave me a comment down below thank you very much for my ultra sim fan omar mandy this put me on the youtube memberships and i'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures